My name is Paul Conrad, and I serve as the manager of the BYU Financial Fitness Center on campus. In this role, I meet with students to help them understand how to pay for school, how to manage well financially during their enrollment at the university. And most importantly, I help them to develop plans to achieve goals, which is ultimately the purpose of financial planning. I really appreciate the theme of this campaign, leading yourself into future endeavors, as I think about how that applies to financial concerns. I realized that setting goals for yourself and developing plans to achieve your goals is really perhaps the essence of leading yourself into future endeavors, setting goals, charting a course, and working to achieve those goals is uh, a personal matter, and it certainly requires each of us to take responsibility for our own financial well-being. Now, this idea of funding future goals for many students depends upon, first of all, funding a college education. Many students come to the university seeking a college degree for important reasons, including the possibility of obtaining full-time employment, full-time income, and using that income to fund future goals. As you think about your future goals, retirement, uh, owning a home someday, providing for a family, traveling, starting your own business, many of those goals will require substantial income. And for many students, obtaining a college education is the door through which they can go to become marketable, to have the opportunity for full-time employment and full-time income. In my role, as I watch many students come to the university as new freshmen, work through many years of college and graduate into uh, full-time positions where they are working as engineers and nurses and teachers and attorneys and business leaders, uh, even owning their own businesses. It's very impressive to see how education can create those kinds of opportunities for young people. And so obtaining a college education for many people is the prerequisite to having the ability to fund your future goals. I want to say that for many students, paying for your college degree can be challenging, but that funding is available for most students. It's really a question of how much funding is going to come from you, from your savings, from family support, from part-time work. How much of your funding for your college degree may come through scholarships or government grants. And in some cases, how much of your education will be funded through uh, student loans and uh, debt. And so funding is available. It's just a question of how you will compose those different resources to pay for school. And for many students, it is often some combination of work, savings, scholarships, and other resources, and careful spending that makes it possible to afford a university education. So it would be important to explore all of the various ways to pay for school. You could meet with a financial aid counselor to talk about possible eligibility for a government Pell Grant. We would be happy to meet with you in the Financial Fitness Center to discuss your various options to pay for school. And all of this with a special emphasis to avoid unnecessary and excessive debt as much as possible. I want to also recognize the context in which you are currently operating as college students. First of all, we have some amazing opportunities available to us through the use of technology, increasing flexibility for our working environments, and the opportunity in many cases to work remotely. If this current pandemic is teaching us anything, it is that many people have found ways to work in unique and creative ways to fulfill work requirements, but also to be able to have flexible schedules, to work around other family responsibilities, to take time for themselves to exercise and have uh, health and wellness. 
and to, again, be able to meet the requirements of an employer. I also want to acknowledge that we are currently working in an environment of uncertainty, many changing market conditions and worldwide health and political issues make our world uncertain. Uh, also, personal developments in our lives can change plans, require us to adapt to changing circumstances. So it is difficult to plan financially with uh, all of that going on. At the same time, again, we have many amazing, amazing opportunities to work in flexible ways and to be able to meet employment uh, requirements and also manage other aspects of our lives. Now, for many students, paying for college uh, includes seeking scholarships and grants to help pay for tuition. In many cases, students are working part-time to cover much of their living expenses. Sometimes part-time income may not be enough to cover all of your living expenses. And in those instances where you may have some savings to supplement your part-time work, you can use those supplemental savings to cover some of your books and other personal expenses. This might be a basic financial plan, although again, each student's circumstances are unique. It's important to explore various possible ways to pay for school, again, to avoid debt as much as possible. And sometimes when I'm working with students and they are taking out loans, we have been able to find other ways to pay for school to either limit how much money they're borrowing or in some cases, find ways for them to pay for school so that they don't need to borrow money at all. Uh, again, I invite you to visit with financial aid counselors, to visit with us here in the Financial Fitness Center. You might consider talking to your department for any scholarship possibilities along with applying for the main uh, general university scholarships at the university. We also invite you to visit our website at financialplan.byu.edu. Under the other resources tab, we have a tile for scholarships where we have gathered information about scholarships all over campus and tried to centralize that information so that you would have a resource to turn to to look for scholarship possibilities on campus. One of the only areas that is not represented on this page is scholarships through the Multicultural Student Services Office. But again, that is another opportunity for you to explore ways to pay for school and to meet with them if you qualify for some of their uh, resources and help. Uh, international students can meet with our International Student Services Office to talk about possible ways to pay for school and help in how to manage the resources that you do have. And we are also happy to meet with you. So we invite you to explore a number of possibilities to pay for school. Students have many questions about applying for federal government Pell Grants. Uh, students have questions about scholarships. There are also questions about part-time employment on campus. Uh, Part-time employment generally is 20 hours a week for many jobs on campus, but some jobs will permit you to work flexibly. Some jobs are only 10 or even five hours a week, depending upon your schedule and your ability to work. We invite you to consider these options and to uh, organize how you're going to pay for school into a plan of action. Uh, again, that is one of our primary roles to help students identify various ways to pay for school, to put together a plan that will help them to meet their needs and to avoid debt as much as possible. Now, sometimes it is necessary to borrow money to pay for school. We always want to make sure before you borrow any money that you have explored all other options to pay for school and that you are reasonably frugal in your expenses, making sure that you're finding ways to meet your needs less expensively where possible, and to, uh, again, make sure that it is appropriate to borrow money in your 
unique circumstances. If you are borrowing money to pay for school, we also want to make sure that your future monthly payment for the loan will be manageable and that you have a plan to repay these funds. For some students, that will be full-time working income. Other students may find that they are only working part-time or are developing secondary incomes, uh, ways to earn secondary income to help pay for their student loans. Again, we will uh, be happy to meet with you and help you think through how much you can truly afford to borrow and what your plans may be for the repayment of these loans. But most importantly, please make informed decisions. Do the math, understand what your future income may be and what the future monthly payment will be for your loan so that we can make sure it's going to be manageable and that you don't graduate into severe financial hardship. On our website, we offer some borrowing principles under the credit tab that will help you, uh, questions you can ask yourself to determine if it is necessary to borrow money and how much you can afford to borrow. And we invite you to visit that resource. We also want to share with you a college planning tool that is available, again, under our other resources tab. This resource, this tool can help you to identify uh, and estimate what your expenses will be for each semester of your enrollment. It can help you to identify how much uh, other resources you may have available to help you pay for school. It can identify any deficit that you may need to cover with borrowing and also help you to assess how much income you may have in the future, how much debt you can truly afford to take on and to make sure that you're not borrowing beyond a manageable range where your monthly payment could become uh, difficult to make and you would experience severe financial hardship. We invite you to visit this uh, page and to use this tool and to contact us with questions and concerns that you may have so that we can also help you evaluate your ability to pay for school and to look for every possible way to meet your needs. I also want to mention that as you come to the university and you're working hard to pay for your college education, preparing for the day when you will be able to fund future goals and uh, getting ready to pursue those goals, that it's important to be working on a budgeting method while you're here at the university. Most people don't budget. A good question to ask is, why should you? It's important to prepare for the day when you will be managing a full-time income. The purpose of budgeting is to plan our spending and to manage our spending in such a way that we can meet our needs and achieve goals. And as you graduate and are working with a full-time income, if you're mismanaging your spending on a lesser scale, uh, you may continue to carry over bad habits in terms of your spending, and that may impact your ability to achieve future goals. Developing a budgeting method and working on that budgeting method while you are here at the university is important practice for the future. And we're happy to visit with you and help you to develop a budgeting method that can work for you to develop some of the techniques that can serve you well as you uh, transition into your career and your family life after the university and uh, help you to uh, set the stage to achieve future goals. I also want to mention that in addition to, to a starting salary that you might expect as you graduate, it's also important to understand the value of employer benefits. Employer benefits include um, the health insurance and dental insurance that are offered by many companies that you might work for. Uh, employer benefits include life insurance and disability insurance and retirement benefits. They also include leave policies and sick and vacation hours and other perks in some cases. 
And all of these benefits can contribute towards the achievement of future financial well being and future goals. As you are accepting offers for employment, it's important to not just look at the starting salary, but to also understand the value of employer benefits and to make sure that the uh, employer is offering you a competitive compensation package. We're happy to help you understand these uh, benefits and to uh, provide more information to you about uh, this transitional information. We invite you to visit us at the Financial uh, Fitness Center. Uh, currently due to the health concerns on campus, we are meeting with students by phone and through Zoom and would be happy to talk to you about how this information applies to your unique circumstances and to help you to develop a customized plan to pay for your school expenses so that you can earn your college degree try to avoid debt as much as possible. We understand that having a lot of debt could limit your flexibility for the future. So we invite you to visit with us so that we can help you to develop a customized plan to pay for school, to ensure that you are not borrowing excessively and to help set the stage for you to achieve your future goals as you one day transition away from the university. Wish you the best in your academic endeavors and we will be standing by if we can help you uh, to put together a good plan to pay for your college expenses.